It's actually a pretty long process. Right now working on the discovery, you're doing workshop with main stakeholders, uh, interviews with banking uh, employees, then also um, doing uh, customer research actually, with potential yeah. customers. Um, but uh, you also created this community, Banking of the Future, we created this together. Um, and this is pretty amazing case when actually we are showing to the market on the example yeah. of how this process can look like. Here we had a few months of working on the product. Uh, in Banking of the Future we are actually showing that within a few working days uh, we can create a proof of concept. Yeah, so uh, the, the idea was basically to uh, help uh, ourselves, I mean us, uh, uh, financial institutions representatives, that it's feasible to shorten the process to val validate the idea, right? So to replace this endless discussions, uh, uh, steering committees and um, so on and so forth with, uh, with a solution or, or methods that allow um, uh, to, to, to grow, uh, go through this uh, ideation, prototyping and verification phase very quickly, right? So, and of course it saves time, money um, uh, and uh, uh, the, the idea basically is that uh, it, we are basing here on Design Sprint from Google, so um, we're, uh, it's feasible to uh, go through five days from the problem statement through uh, ideation, uh, uh, sketching the solutions, prototyping and validating them uh, with the end users. Uh, and we have done it uh, three times so far. Um, with financial institutions representatives. So we were simply uh, stating some kind of a cha challenge that we wanted to tackle during these workshops. And we were working all together uh, on the solution with the design sprint methodology. So, um, and, and we had really, uh, really uh, uh, intelligent, uh, experienced people on these workshops, because these were, like, like you said, uh, uh, banks, uh, uh, from Poland, for instance, like from uh, BNP Paribas uh, representatives, M, M Bank, uh, PKO BP, uh, PKO SA, uh, and a few more, uh, but also uh, international uh, companies representatives like uh, people from Airwallex, from Stripe, uh, from Mambu or, or, or Tink, uh, uh, also colleagues from Mastercard. So we, we really had experienced people working on how to solve a specific problem. And we ended up each time with a specific prototype uh, validated with the clients of, of a solution of a specific problem. Uh, so we were able to, to prove that it's feasible um, to go through this whole process within five days. Um, and uh, uh, what is, I think, also uh, pretty important to underline here is that um, we were doing it fully remotely. So uh, if, if someone is wondering whether uh, conducting projects is feasible to be done remotely. Yes, it is. Uh, so again, we were proving it with the mark, uh, together with the uh, with the market. Uh, you can check the details on on our web page. I mean, when, when you you know browse uh, for for Ten Clouds Banking of the Future, you can find the details, the representatives uh, of specific companies working on the on the solution. And yes, uh, I would agree with the statement that it's some kind of a community, right? So. Um, you know, e even the participants were mentioning like, uh, yeah, uh, on a daily basis, we are uh, focused a lot on what we do uh, currently, uh, on all these meetings, you know, all the challenges that we have. Uh, uh, um, but it's barely the, ca the case that we have time to exchange our thoughts uh, without the industry, right? Uh, w w with the industry. So um, even attending the conference, uh, it's uh, mostly that you receive the information, right? So sometimes you have the discussions, uh, you know, over the coffee or over the wine, or whatever, but you are n not really engaged in, in uh, uh, during the conference when, when you are not speaking, right? Or, or you are taking part in the panel, but it's still like very general, yeah? yeah discussion yeah. usually. And, and here, uh, we, th 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 this is, the workshop is really hands-on, so everyone is involved. So it's not only about, you know, me talking for five days or something like that. It's really us co-creating the solution for the, for the challenge. Must have been really exciting for the uh, actually banks to see that you know there's, it's possible to do it for, so. for, for four <laughs> days, uh, and uh, for me it was really funny that uh, you mentioned that we did it uh, remotely, yeah. uh, and when COVID uh, appeared on the market, it's actually we didn't even 
do the whole workshop remotely, but we also integrated afterwards remotely. Oh yeah, that's you true. That? Yeah, that's true. We we, we plan the wine tasting remotely. Uh, <laughs> we're a professional sommelier, uh, and uh, yeah, it, it was really cool. Still coming back a bit to virtual branches because yeah. I, I was actually thinking that we, we were discussing it as a product in the, con in the context of banks and, yeah. and fintechs. But actually, isn't it tempting for other industries also to basically have such a such a solution mm -hmm. that you can basically serve the clients uh, uh, fully online? Yeah, well, yeah, it's uh, for sure applicable for uh, more industries than than uh, the, the banking sector, right? So uh, even within the financial industry, it's uh, insurers, for instance, where there's for sure a place for for this kind of uh, product, this kind of services. Uh, but um, uh, I would uh, add uh, more industries as, as uh, in my opinion, examples of, of really good potential to, to use this kind of services. And this is uh, for sure automotive from my perspective. So we are preparing ourselves also uh, to some extent to, um, to have the answer how, uh, how to effectively um, um, sell and, and service the client uh, via this solution um, in, in automotive industry. Um, uh, the same as with healthcare. Uh, so before COVID, you know, no one uh, was thinking about using this kind of remote services when <coughs> when talking with a doctor. Now it's you know co common situation, right? That you have a teleporada, right? And uh, uh, so so for have healthcare for sure. And, and I think that you know we could find uh, a few more industries where um, uh, where it could be utilized perfectly. So you're, you said a bit about what future holds for you, but is it anything else that you can share with us? Well, you know, in my opinion, uh, just to be, uh, you know, to, to summarize it very generally, uh, it's about the emotions and experiences. So uh, I, I'm not sure how, how much the, the statement is surprising, but uh, uh, it's really not about the product uh, itself in many cases. Uh, uh, it's not about some kind of uh, internal stuff, right? So it's about how the client feels when contacting with you uh, or interacting with your, uh, with, with your value proposition, right? So, and I think that the majority of focus should, should go simply there. Thank you, Carol, for this talk. Yeah, thank you as well. It was a pleasure. Well.